Hi all, this is Katerina Christakos from How to Write a Children's Book in 30 Days or Less, or howtowriteachildrensbook.com. Today we're going to talk about writer's block and how to overcome it. Writer's block is merely caused by having a fear about your writing. It's not going to be good enough, or what if I don't have the right word, or what if nobody likes it. That's where writer's block comes from. It's not that you can't think of anything to write. You're afraid that if you do write something that others won't like it. So, we're going to take that fear and we're going to put it aside. Because today, you're going to write for you. And tomorrow and the next day. Yes, you may have publishers, you may have deadlines, you may have everything. But, when it comes to it, at the end of the day, the person who has to be satisfied with the work is you. Let's get to this writer's block dilemma one step at a time. Um, I have nothing to write about. That is such a silly answer. That's such a silly way of looking at life. If you go out on the street and you just look at the people passing by, you're going to find enough characters out there to put in a, a million books. If you pick up your newspaper, there are stories out there. If you go on the internet, there's a million stories there. If you pick up other people's books, you can get general concept ideas. So saying that there's nothing to write about or you can't think of something to write about is a cop-out. There are a million things to write about. You just have to pick one. So how do you pick? Well, there's two different ways of doing it. You can write about a genre that you like, or, or and or, you can go to the Writer's, um, Writer's Digest, you can go to writing magazines, go and look and see what publishers are looking for at this exact time. They're more than happy to tell you. The writing magazines tend to be a little bit more current, unless you're getting the um, Writer's Digest at the end of the year, I mean at the beginning of the year. So there are two ways of looking at this. You can say, hey, I want to write about this topic. Or you can say, let's look at what publishers are looking for right now, and let's give them that. So those are two ways of going about this. Um, I can't think of the right word. A lot of people allow that to stop them. Well, who cares? Put blank. Put a line where that word will be later on. And later on, you can go back and fill it in. Or if you still can't think of it, go online and come up with a word similar to it and use the online the sources that are available. Or go to your friends and family and say, hey, fill in the word for me, please. There's a million ways to do these things. So if your cop-out was, I can't think of anything, I've given you a half dozen places where you can go and find storylines. If your cop-out was, I can't think of the right word, well, I've given you a couple of ways of dealing with that. Um, if you're afraid that what you write won't be good enough for others, well, who says you have to show it to anybody? This will be write, written just for you. And when, as you keep writing, maybe there will be one that you think is good enough for other people to read. Start out doing it for yourself, and then, at that point, you can hand it to somebody else if you want to. Um, oh, my grammar isn't good enough, my sentence structure isn't good enough, no one will ever accept it. Well, if you go to elance.com or freelance.com, uh, there's a half dozen sites out there like that, you can hire an editor to go through your book at the end and make it the way it should be, to polish it off, to make sure that there aren't those spelling errors and grammatical errors. You pay them a set fee, which you negotiate ahead of time, they edit it, and you can submit it. Okay, here's another one. I don't know what to write in a query letter. Okay, so you've written the book, you don't know what to put in the query letter. Go to Elance again and post a job for that. There are editors online on Elance. There are writers online who have been published on Elance. Ask them to write your query letter for you. As simple as that. It's not going to cost that much. And if these are the things that are your stumbling blocks, these are your way. This is a way for you to just jump over them and get to your goal. All right, that's it for now. This is Katerina Krasakos from HowToWriteAChildrensBook.com, and I look forward to speaking with you again.